I am Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairman of Douglas County Board of Commissioners. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Clearly, our show on DCTV 23 that has the purpose of bringing information to you about county departments, programs, and people. Information is essential to being able to think clearly. Welcome to this month's episode of Clearly. Founder and CEO of Amazon said, it's our job every day to make every important aspect of the customer experience a little bit better. And in our case, the customers are the citizens of Douglas County. This is why I decided to spearhead a new customer service initiative to help explain the details. I am joined in the studio with two guests today, our personal Personnel Department Director Frederick Perry and our HR Assistant Donna Lee Stroud, who both played a pivotal role in making this initiative a reality. Good evening, Good evening uh, Director of Human now, Resources, uh, Director Fred Perry, and then also we have uh, Donna Stroud here with us. So I'm so excited that you joined us today. So tell me a little bit about the customer service uh, initiative, and I'll kick off with you, our director, and tell me mm -hmm. why it's so important here in Douglas County Absolutely. government. Well, first and foremost, I want to thank you for allowing us to play a pivotal role in, uh, in bringing this customer service initiative to fruition. Um, I would say that as we move the county forward, one of the things that we want to definitely make sure is that uh, level of professionalism and the level of service that our citizens are receiving when they visit the courthouse is, uh, is, is, is at a high level for them and that if should they run into an issue, should they run into uh, a, a situation where they feel they need to escalate, they will know exactly um, uh, what the process is, one, and they'll know that that process is going to be properly dealt with. So we want to make sure of that and I think that that, that is the basic foundation of this customer service initiative mm -hmm. is to define that, uh, that process for filing complaints within the, co uh, within the co courthouse and, uh, and giving the citizens an outlet, if you would, should they run into a situation where they're not happy. Oh, wow. That's a very uh, thorough response. We realize that customer service is crucial in any organization to, uh, to be significant, and when I say that, to be great. Uh, I've had an opportunity to benchmark with other um, counties, county governments throughout the United States and, and just if one comes to mind would be Seattle and they have a very strong customer service program so I, I looked at their model and just kind of picked some pieces and then uh, added my touch as well and so excited that you all have endorsed this program so we could roll out to our uh, number one to the citizens of Douglas County and then also internally to our staff. Uh, Donna, I have a question for you. Uh, what do you consider to be good cu customer service and what are some of the things that we've done to just kind of to spark the interest of our uh, citizens well, so they can we have uh, we've pulled together well actually um, Frederick found in doing some house cleaning mm -hmm. found an old set of uh, tenants that were given out years ago mm -hmm. uh, from the Board of Commissioners that when you and I and Frederick had started talking about the initiative um, just one day he had it put up on the bulletin board and I was standing there making some copies and I thought, you know, this would be perfect, Frederick, for mm -hmm. us in, in our customer service initiative. And so we've adopted those tenants and uh, through the help of uh, the communications department, they've been put into a, a really nice uh, colorful format mm -hmm. and we're going to be giving those out to all the departments uh, mm -hmm. for them to place in their areas on their bulletin boards. And then we're also going to have retractable banners that we're uh, going to be ordering too. Uh, one that's going to be kept in the main at the main floor there at the security desk, so that all the citizens can, citizens can see it when they come in. And then one that we can move throughout the courthouse. 
Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Director Perry, tell me a little bit, if you could, just mm -hmm. if you could just restate the tenets for the citizens yes. of Douglas mm -hmm. County. It's not that long, and I would love for them to hear it live on TV, if mm -hmm. you could read that for us. Now, what we did in the previous work session, we had Nana to read those tenets. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to pass these over to her, since she's had an opportunity okay. to read them sure. before. I'll okay. Be and she sounded excellent then, and okay. I'm sure she'll do better even, uh, even better you. this time. Yep. Appreciate that. Uh, this is the Citizens Customer Service for Douglas County. Because Douglas County is committed to serving its citizens, it puts forth this employee policy concerning public relations responsibilities. Citizens are not to do for us, we are to do for them. Citizens are not an interruption of our work, they are the purpose for it. Citizens are not an obstruction to our mm -hmm. work, they are part of it. Right. Citizens are not dependent upon us, we are dependent upon them. And citizens are not people to argue with or match wits with. No public employee has ever won an argument with a citizen. That's right. Citizens mm -hmm. are people who bring us their problems. It is our job to handle them in such a way as to be beneficial to them and ourselves. And this is directed um, to the employees. Your attitude, actions, responsibilities, and relationships shape the citizens' impression of Douglas County government. You provide a vital public relations role, for you are Douglas County government. The county's public standing is determined largely by your actions. Therefore, be friendly, helpful, courteous, and sincere. Douglas County Board of Commissioners. Thank you so much. Uh, well said, and then we want to take those words and put them into action. Absolutely. Certainly. Uh, Director Perry, mm -hmm. uh, if you could just just discuss the process for orientation as we come through, and, and we want to make sure that we certainly uh, pass this message on to our new employees and new hires. Can you talk about your process and what you're planning to do? Absolutely. So during the orientation process, there's different uh, uh, segments of the orientation that, uh, that we go through. Of course, we discuss the benefits and, uh, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. And um, one of the things that we've added to help incorporate uh, this customer service initiative, Donna has um, created a folder that will en encompass all of the paperwork that uh, the new employee typically fills out the tax wow. forms and mm -hmm. things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And they'll go in the, inside of the folder. On the outside of the folder, it will have the, uh, the customer service tenants uh, that they can read. And, um, and I think Donna is planning on discussing those tenants with, with our new mm -hmm. employees as well. There's also a, uh, a statement on the inside. And is it Aristotle? Mm -hmm. Aristotle. Aristotle. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a statement from, uh, or a quote from Aristotle that uh, uh, I'm sure will st spark some conversation within the orientation as well. Speaks so we, of excellence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Speaks of ex uh, excellent mm -hmm. excellence as they uh, um, facilitate their duties, whatever they've been hired for. So um, we think having a, uh, a short conversation and establishing with the new employee as they come into uh, to work with us that this is where we are, you know, and this is how we view our customers. We are here for them and they're not here for us, you know, to establish that off um, uh, on the first day of employment. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good way to frame their mindset and, uh, and get them started working with the county. Thank you. Certainly as we uh, continue to chase perfection to achieve excellence, uh, that this customer service initiative is just amazing. It's, it's huge for the county. Uh, we hopefully our customers will uh, see the return on our uh, this investment mm -hmm. that we're working on. Uh, internally, uh, the employees that are already here, I know we talked about external new employees coming in, but what about those that are here? How do we uh, make our messaging uh, become contagious among just our staff members mm -hmm. that are here, which I think about 1,000 strong? Yeah, we're about, uh, we're about 1,000 strong now, and it's actually over 1,000. Okay. Um, if you incorporate all of the part-timers mm -hmm. that are employed as well. I want to uh, give Donna an opportunity to respond to that as well. Okay. And I'll yeah. say that, um, that one of the things that I've done, I've sent an email, a uh, pretty extensive email to my counterparts, to all department heads, mm -hmm. to explain the customer service initiative, to define it and to define the goals and what we're seeking to accomplish by implementing this customer service initiative. We've also sent out the six tenets that mm -hmm. Donna just read for us. We sent those out via email. And uh, Donna's gonna talk about some of the tools, the other tools that we've 
implemented to try to push this initiative mm -hmm. forward. And wow. I think that uh, in orientation is going to be uh, our primary way to, to reach out to the new hires, but the primary way for us to, all of us, to reach out to the existing in employees mm -hmm. is to set the example. Um, and, and as we share our new ideas and our expectations to the new hires, they're going to be looking at the existing employees mm -hmm. to, you know, well, what is the example that you are setting for me? So I think it's very important that we share that with the existing employees to help them to understand that these tenants, it's just not a piece of paper. Right. This is what we truly believe in and it's an expectation for all of us um, from the Board of Commissioners and from you, Madam Chair, yes. that this is what we need to do. We need to be kind mm -hmm. and we need yes. to remember what it's like to be on the other side of that counter um, mm -hmm. and treat people um, as we want to be treated. Right. Yeah. Particularly as um, a lot of our um, customers, I sh should say, are coming to the court, uh, mm -hmm. maybe to the judicial side. Mm -hmm. So you already have butterflies, you're nervous. Mm -hmm. sure. mm -hmm. And just, just uh, maybe down to business development and places like that, planning and zoning, so mm -hmm. it's, it's crucial. What are we planning to do beyond the doors of the courthouse? You know, we do have satellite, uh, I call offices. Uh, we have our uh, Douglas County Annex, new with the tax commissioner's mm -hmm. office. and. Uh, we have uh, parks and recreation. How, how are we going to make sure that this message is spread evenly across the organization? Well, well Frederick and I have talked about that, mm -hmm. uh, that we're going to take those, um, the, the laminated tenants uh, to each one of the departments. And I think that will make a big difference to them, is that seeing mm -hmm. HR uh, be in their department, that uh -huh. they'll understand that it's not just something we drop in the mail, mm -hmm. that it's important enough that we bring wow. this to you to share the message with you. And yeah, very Sue, good. Mm -hmm. We've also encouraged the department heads to, you know, as they're having their staff meetings, to yes. uh, to talk about the tenants and, uh, you know, if they would prefer that we attend, we're available to attend staff meetings as well, as well just to facilitate that conversation and make sure all the questions are asked or, or answered, rather, and, uh, and that, um, you know, and that, uh, as Donna mentioned, they'll know that this is beyond uh, just a sheet of paper is more, um, you know, a, a way of thinking, a way of, uh, of, of projecting professionalism to, uh, to the citizens. Um, also wanted to um, just reiterate the fact that um, as we move forward with this initiative, it's not always focused, uh, you know, on problems and issues. Mm -hmm. We want to make yes. sure that, you know, the courthouse is a big place. It is. You know, every time I step outside of, uh, of my office, there's always someone looking for you know, where do I uh, get a birth certificate? You know, um, um, where can I get a business license? Yes. Things of that nature. So we also want to make sure that uh, our staff within the courthouse knows where all of the functions within the courthouse are, are being housed. We've had some, some offices to move, uh, you know, and it can be a little confusing, you know. Uh, so we want to make sure that, uh, that our citizens are pointed in the right direction mm -hmm. and, uh, and that they're greeted with a smile when, uh, when they have questions. Very good. Uh, my uh, next question uh, is around measuring our performance, mm -hmm. uh, measurable opportunities. So can you speak about our plans uh, going in the future? Because I know the program is still in the infant stage. Will we send surveys out to our customers to see how well we're performing? How will we do that, Director Perry? Well, we have, uh, we've kind of broken this whole initiative down into different phases. So, mm -hmm. you know, the first phase was mm -hmm. just for us to get it launched, get the tenants out and start to, uh, you know, make sure the message is, is uh, floating around within the different departments. So, second mm -hmm. stage will be, uh, <laughs> you know, involve kind of Donna and I being more hands-on, as I mentioned, us possibly going around to the different staff meetings and, uh, uh, and, and talking this up and making sure that if there's any questions out there, that, uh, that need to be answered in a, in a thorough way that we're there and we're available to, to do that. I think as we move forward with the initiative and as we start to uh, experience it and it's starting to, uh, to grow and stick, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll start to have that conversation about how do we actually measure this. Now there is a section on the website mm -hmm. that allows for um, a citizen if they have an issue they can send an email and they can go in and they can explain that uh, situation 
And that email will come to, will that come to me? It, 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 right now it goes to Rick. Comes okay. To Rick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there, there is a uh, a conduit through which they can, uh, they can lodge a uh, a concern or a complaint. So that's one way that we're you know we're measuring the types of complaints that we're getting and the uh -huh. types of issues. But I know that uh, that you like more metrics. Mm -hmm. You like things mm -hmm. that that could be measured and uh, yes. and things of this na nature. So I know that we'll have to become more sophisticated in the way that we measure these things. So. So that, we haven't clearly defined that yet, but that's something that we'll be working towards. And I believe uh, in just general conversations, we, we spoke about for perhaps customer service being tied to performance evaluations mm -hmm. as well, and I believe that is already on, on mm -hmm. the part of their uh, Yeah, there, there is a um, evaluation uh, now. There is a piece on the performance evaluation that speaks to attitude and it speaks to um, professionalism and things of that nature. So. It, it, uh, it, it, it definitely entails what's, uh, what's covered in the customer service initiative, but as we have this conversation more and more, we'll tie it to uh, that, um, uh, that particular tenant that's in the, professional, uh, in the uh, first, uh, performance evaluation Appreciate. so that they'll understand that, you know, this is something that we want to look, take a harder look at as we move forward with our evaluations. Mm -hmm. Donna, did you, have you had an opportunity to, uh, when you, did you benchmark with other places in Georgia, uh, other county governments to determine what they were utilizing for customer service, uh, I call it, um, opportunities for their staff? Did you have an opportunity to look around? No, ma'am, but I did do, um, not personally speaking with the, the other counties, but I did do a lot of research initially. Yeah, when you, sure when you mm -hmm. uh, brought mm -hmm. this on and, and uh, introduced the idea to us, and, and I have uh, enjoyed that because mm -hmm. it, it, it makes me realize um, how easy it is for us to um, just get involved in our day-to-day -day and mm -hmm. have a tendency to set, set things aside, but um, I love doing the research and enjoyed that. Um, it helped us um, a lot to come up with some ideas on, on how we wanted to present this to you. and. Um, mm -hmm. It's been very beneficial. Oh, absolutely. And it's amazing how most uh, organizations such as Amazon, they ride off that customer service oh, piece yeah. that is important. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and it has, it nets huge returns. And we, we're not looking for a monetary return, but we want the mm -hmm. customer to be satisfied yeah. when they walk out the door. Absolutely. And they have some good things to say about us when mm -hmm. they walk out the door. And mm -hmm. that's a lot harder to measure. Mm -hmm. um, it it's is. easier to, it's easy for a company to measure um, sales, you yeah, know, if you, you've numbers, got good uh -huh. salespeople and you've got good um, managers that deal with the customers on that type of level, it's a little bit more difficult for us because mm -hmm. we don't have a product right. that you can say, well, I don't, I don't want to buy this from Douglas County anymore. Their, their employees were rude to me and I'm going to go to Cobb County. That's not, it, it's not practical. It's not going to happen because they have to come to us right. to pay the, the county tax bill and things of that type. So I just think it's really important for us to be able to get the message across that even though we don't have a tangible product, we are that tangible product right. to our customer. Mm -hmm. Director Perry, I believe you've had an opportunity to speak to your with your colleagues about this program. Where, what was your, what's the, uh, what was the atmosphere in the room like when you spoke to your colleagues? Were they excited about rolling this out as well? Very or? much so. Very okay. much so. Uh, I think everybody is on board, and definitely my peers are on board with, with this initiative and uh, and the possibilities that it'll bring. And, and definitely, as Donna mentioned, that uh, we don't necessarily have a product to sell. Uh, we are that product, and um, you know, uh, to to place an emphasis on it, our uh, department heads are definitely on board with that, and definitely looking forward to to moving it forward. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Let's, let's speak about our, we'll just pivot just a second to our internal customers, customer service to one another, mm -hmm. each department. You know, you have that internal, mm -hmm. our external customers are certainly our citizens coming in. But what about just our day-to-day our -day operations or should I say customer interaction between one another? Can you speak to that a little bit for me? <laughs> well, our, our primary focus uh, as of right now has been the external customer. Mm -hmm. uh, that is something that, uh, that we'll be talking about is how we interact with one another because, uh, you know, how we interact with one another 
the external customer is, is nine times out of ten they're observing this. So Absolutely. If we're being rude to one another, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not a, a, a good look for uh, for the county as well. So uh, um, that's going to be something that we'll be talking about as well. Our primary focus focus thus far has been the external, external customer, customer and the citizen, and uh, and making sure that their experience in the courthouse is a good one, uh, as as much as we can uh, as much as we can make it. Yeah. Wow. And I really appreciate the huge uh, body of work that you all pull together. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes my vision is larger than something that's doable and you all made it happen. So mm -hmm. I'm really pleased uh, with the um, enormous amount of hours that you spent uh, pulling this program together. Uh, it takes time because customer service is, again, like you say, you, is something that's almost impossible to measure because it's based on perception. Mm -hmm. uh, it, and we're taking a qualitative approach versus a quantitative mm -hmm. approach. Mm -hmm. So everything is touchy-feely. So you have this, you're basing what somebody, you're basing your, uh, should I say, our responses, our uh, data off of someone's feelings. Mm -hmm. So again, hopefully we'll have some good responses from our customers when we begin to measure. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to commend you both mm -hmm. for taking the time to endorse my vision regarding uh, customer service. Uh, in my years of uh, the workforce, uh, 40 years in the workforce, healthcare is huge with customer service. Mm -hmm. We believe in greeting the customer and thanking them and owning everything that goes wrong or right in the situation mm -hmm. because Believe it or not, the customer is always right, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and that's just the way it goes. And we wanted to, to bring that same con concept here, mm -hmm. I did, mm -hmm. to uh, Douglas County government. Um, anything too. else you want to well, add? I, I did want to say that, you know, I do want to make sure that Donna gets uh, all of the, uh, the just do that she deserves. She mentioned Absolutely. that she's done a lot of research and a lot of work uh, in, in, in the background in terms of um, how we're going to roll this thing out, mm -hmm. um, you know, and um, it's just been a joy working with her on that. A lot of her background is in customer service, and yes. uh, and it comes across very well. This is very natural for her. So, um, uh, kudos to you, Donna. Thank we you appreciate pleasure. the things you've done, um, and we look forward to to moving this thing yeah. forward. And we know that this is going to be uh, the customer service is the umbrella. Oh, so okay. it's going to be a lot of things that fall uh, fall under that. You know, uh, in June of every year, we have our uh, department head uh, conference, mm -hmm. and this is going to be something that we'll be talking about there, and uh, kind of placing a lot of emphasis on it uh, with the, within the department head conference as well. So, look forward to that, and uh, I know that Donna is going to be coming up with some new and additional things. Wow! Yes. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with Frederick's help. Yeah. <laughs> so Donna, do you have any added comments about customer service and things that I know you've had a, a wonderful time uh, researching and uh, I have. I've had a, helping, really implementing the program as well. well. Thank you. Um, I have really enjoyed doing this. Um, it's uh, always a lot of fun for me to work on an outside project where I can just mm -hmm. kind of um, focus my attention on not just the day-to-day, -day, uh, but a new project where I can see how that's going to affect the day-to-day -day stuff. Mm -hmm. So this being customer service has really been a lot of fun for me. Um, I will tell you that it has also given me the opportunity to kind of step back uh -huh. and see where my level of customer service mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. That, you know, sometimes we um, think that um, we are where we need to be. Uh -huh. And I can tell you that this, working on this has really shown me that I can step my game up mm -hmm. um, and yes. that I can show others how to do that as well. That's so cool. I appreciate you having the confidence in us to move this forward. Mm -hmm. My absolute pleasure. I'm just so excited about all the great things that are coming down the pike uh, here in Douglas County, and you all have are really just set the standard for customer service, and I am ex so excited and cannot wait to tout what we're doing here in Douglas County uh, as opposed to other governments. Uh, we, we've taken the first step, and it, it was a big one, and I'm just the next thing is just our customers receiving mm -hmm. what we are actually, uh, I guess we're just going to have to put our money where our mouth is Absolutely. and make sure that we do the right thing. So mm -hmm. um, thank you all so much for coming. It's been a You're great conversation welcome. today about customer service, and we'll continue to discuss it throughout the community. Thank so thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for watching Clearly, and we'll see you next time.